Hello, I'm Christine McLeod. I'm a weaver at Weaver's Cottage in Kilbarkin, a National Trust for Scotland property. In this film, I'm going to show you how to make a rag rug. You need very, very simple equipment. First of all, you would need a piece of fabric. And this is Hessian, which is widely available. You can get that on the internet. It's very, very cheap. You also need a prodder, which I'll show you how to make, or you would just use a pencil. But something with a point. It doesn't have to be a very sharp point. And finally, you need your fabric. You can use any form of old clothes, old fabric, but try and make sure that it's not too slippery, that it's nice and thick and, and firm. Ideal things are things like um, old trousers, sweatshirts, school uniforms, etc. As long as it's, it's thick cloth. And you'll also need some scissors to cut up the cloth. The first step of rag rug making is to produce the tufts of the rugs. And for this, we'll need the cloth and the scissors. We're going to cut up the cloth into strips of about two centimetres. We then want to make it into fairly uniform lengths and you can measure this, but the easiest thing to do would maybe, maybe to measure from, from your wrist to your thumb and cut it. So your wrist to your thumb and cut it. Very roughly, it doesn't have to be a perfect length. I've cut up a bundle of cloth and what I've got, I've got it in various, various colours and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually make the rug. So what we need is the prodder and the fabric. The fabric goes underneath the hessian that we're going to work from. To begin, all we have to do is decide where we're going to start. Now what you could do is you could draw a pattern on, even just you could draw a line on the piece of fabric. But what I'm going to do is just something that's going to be an all over pattern. So I'm just going to start anywhere. Now, what I'm going to do is take the prodder and just push through and twist and push it through as far as you can and make as big a hole as you can like that. With your bundle of fabric underneath, just take one of them in your hand and push it through. If you have difficulty in pushing it through, just pull up a wee bit using your prodder and pull it pull half of the piece through like that. Next stage is to just move it along maybe a centimetre or so and push down and make another hole and take the other half of the piece of cloth that you're working with and take it through the hole. Again if you can't manage to get it through first time use your your prodder just to, to help you to pull it through. And that is one tuft. The next stage, and the most important thing to remember, is to go back into the last hole that you were working on and take your next piece of fabric through and make your next hole again about a centimetre in and twist the prodder as you go to give you a nice clean space to work through and then just take the yarn through. So the important thing is that you're going through the same hole twice and that means that your tuft is going to stay in place and the rest is just a matter of working your way along. rug that we're halfway through and you can see what we've got here is a black edge. Now what I would advise is when you're starting your rug to try and work out where your edge is going to be and try and start a fair bit in, maybe about five or six centimetres in from the edge so that 
when your rug is ready to be finished, you can, you're can you able to fold that in. Also, it's a very good idea to outline your rug in black. Now black, um, if you think about where this rug is going to go, it's going to go on the floor, and so lighter colours are just going to be very dirty. As you're working, just remembering this edge, avoid working on this edge because this is really important to create a good edge. What you would do is essentially you're just going to fold it over like so and that is going to be the edge of your rug. Also you notice the way that I've actually worked this is where we work from the centre and coming out the way and that's important when you're working because the rug as as you progress it will get quite heavy so we have learned through experience to start in the middle and work your way out. What we like to do is we like to back the rug and it just preserves the underneath of the rug when it's when it's on the floor and for that we just use another piece of hessian to cover and with the edge fold it over like so and that edge would then the two edges would then be sewn together i've now completed attaching the backing you can see how i've sewn back just very very roughly just you're just binding it together use a very strong thread for this if you can because it will have a lot of wear and tear eventually but that's it just ready to be turned over and you'll see that all the the fabric has been used up there's a the black border it's been backed sewn up and is ready now to be put anywhere as a warm and very cheap floor covering and that's how to make a rag rug